chain. So he's got to expect vehicles sooner rather than later. And going tier 3 against Tank Depot isn't really a winning battle for the Wehrmacht. No, seen as it is the hard counter. But we do have a, a Gren squad. So he did go... Wait, what is that? Yeah, he, oh, he has Grenadiers that came out of the med bunker and he upgraded uh, that with... Uh, with the Panzer Shrek, but he's really also hurting in the munitions department as well. He's only got a plus 32 income, and he's only just getting 60 income or 60 munitions right now. So he's not going to be upgrading crazily at the moment. Mm -hmm. And that is interesting to note. That is probably why uh, Blitz felt confident enough to get the MP44s because he did get this free grand squad out of the medic bunker, and he's going to hope that that's going to be enough AT to hold off this Sherman that is now over half done in the tank depot. <laughs> oh, that's... I can see that Puma is going to be in a world of hurt of, of that, uh... Oh! Ho, ho. Grenadier squad hits two mines and zoned down to one man and pinned very low health. But yeah, that... What I was saying before is that Puma is going to be in a world of hurt of when that Sherman comes out because there's really only one Panzerstreak is not going to counter Sherman. Mm -hmm. But look, up top, these storms are going to run right into the entire Allied Infantry Force. And yeah, they're going to have to run away, and they'll be alright though. Yeah. But the Sherman is on the field. Yeah, Blitz laughing a little bit about that. The Sherman is on the field though, and does Chains have any mines even anywhere? I don't see any. I'm trying to look around. No, he doesn't have any mines. Uh, it's because he only has one Pioneer, and I think... They've been trying to repair that medic bunker for the majority of the time. And Chain's actually just now revealing his Sherman, so Blitz is going to be going, Oh no, I need some sort of AT at this point. And I'm sure he knows a single Grand Squad at this point in the game isn't really going to cut it. No. And I'm not sure, but do Venerable Volks get uh, a Panzerfaust as an ability? Cause I do that not would, know. Yeah. No, I don't. I, I don't think Hero Volks do, but yeah, he does have that one normal Volk squad, and that could do some damage. But really, this massive engagement here in the center that's probably going to take down the med bunker, because two Volks and a accomplished Stag. Oh, that's going to change things up a bit, I think. And I actually don't think. Yep. Uh, Chain's just now getting. Oh, nice grenade kills off. I think that killed. Might not have killed the entire Volk squad, but Chain is, is just now getting his. Uh, sticky bomb upgrade and I don't believe actually it will finish before this battle's done so he's probably gonna throw a sticky on no he's gonna retreat beforehand but using the field repairs on this Sherman gonna heal it up a little bit I don't think he has many upgrades on the field repairs because it actually took a while and didn't really heal up that Sherman very much no what I think would be wise now is to get the up gun on the Puma because that would mean that the Sherman would be at a significant disadvantage now that we've got that Stug on the field. Definitely. And also, Chain's floating a lot of manpower. Actually, just now getting his triage center, which is a good idea. A little bit late, but better late than ever, never, I suppose. And he just spent a lot of manpower reinforcing right now, but he still has almost 300 manpower. And he's... Kind of in a tough spot because he has nothing to spend it on. He has no motor pool to get AT guns. He's probably going to want to back tech pretty soon and recap his fuel on the top left because right now he, he is only getting plus 10 fuel income, which is really hurting him. Yeah. So right now, now that everyone is just not fighting each other, I'll do the first time sync. We are at 50 minutes, 07, 08, 09, 010, oh, not 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, are you all synced up in this? I certainly am. I also wanted to point out the MP44 storms in the middle. Also, ooh, they just retreated right now, but they also got a Shrek upgrade. And that's an interesting choice to get him in that order because Chains, when he sees the storms on the field and he sees the icon, he's, he's going to assume they don't have any sort of AT. So if he moves a Sherman in, he's going to be surprised to see that they do indeed have a... Or Panzer Shrek because the icon only shows the first upgraded weapon on a squad. Yeah, and the meta bunker has definitely paid for itself now. It's churned out two squads of grenadiers now, but it's not going to be enough when we've got flanking riflemen with Vet 1. Sherman's coming around behind as well. 
And I like uh, Chains' use of his Sherman right now. He's not really trying to engage Ch uh, Blitz's forces head on. He's actually probably going to kill this Grand Squad. No, he doesn't. The Grand Squad gets lucky. But he isn't trying to engage the pretty hefty force in the middle that now has two Stugs and the Panzer Shreks everywhere. He is, however, using the Sherman to harass around the side, and he's planting a lot of mines with these advanced defenses engineers. Yeah, especially as they're so spammable now that I think they're 18 munitions instead of 25 with the veterancy, but it's definitely very good, and I think that's going to be able to allow him to throw off a few sticky bombs if he can get in close enough. But definitely, his sh his Sherman Micro is top-notch, I'd say, at the moment, just not attacking the Stugs at all, because they would definitely win, I would say, you would agree. Definitely. He's also getting a m medic station up, just got it up right now, and he really needs to do something with his manpower at this point. He has almost 600 and really nothing in the base to produce off of. He, ne he needs to either get a weapon support center and start pumping out a sniper or two, or he needs to get a motor pool and get a couple AT guns to help him out with these stugs because this Sherman's going to be in a lot of trouble in a second unless these riflemen get here with sticky bombs in time. Oh! Oh, but oh, the mines are accomplished! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> uh, just luckily enough, missed the second mine, but that would have been brutal now that that accomplished stug has got a damaged engine. And it might actually go over the second mine as well. This could actually be not very good for the rifle squad if it hits the mine and kills all the riflemen around it as well. Yeah, lots of stuggy gone. Lots of stuggy bombs. So, yep, the accomplished stug does go down. The other stug has a damaged engine. But that sticky bomb's gonna be wasted because he should be able to back it up in time. But he now has 800 manpower and he can call in a calliope, which is what he just did. Nice. And I have to say that uh, Blitz, he is floating 250 munitions, and dare I say that he could do a flare uh, rocket barrage, terribleness, OP, whatever you're gonna call it, uh, strategy. But I hope he doesn't do that. I hope he has some honor. Also, an interesting thing to note, Chains' rifle squad threw two stickies on this stug near the base. It did immobilize it, however, the it's kind of wasted the 70 munitions because he had nothing to follow it up with. There were a lot of reinforcements coming in, and uh, Blitz will eventually just be able to heal this thing up free of charge. Yeah, and this Calliope is just going to lay waste to anything that remotely will come near it. Does uh, Chains also have a Pershing as one of his abilities? The he usual, does, uh, however, he does not have... Oh, there's the flare in the base. We may actually... Oh, we are going to see it. Look at this. The flare <laughs> and then Blitz already coming down to the base just like you called. Look at that. But great reaction time from Chains. is going to get almost the entirety of his force out in time and not take any damage from that. Oh, that was incredibly lucky because he had all his infantry blob there and that was going to be a brutal move if that landed square on all those infantry. Definitely. It was actually kind of a bad decision on Blitz's part, I think, to drop it at that point because where else would Chains be looking at that point in the game? He has his entire force inside his base. It's not like he's going to be microing around the map and not notice when the flare and already goes off. He was probably looking at his base the moment it dropped down and had a lot of time to move out and make the necessary adjustments to make sure he did lose his entire army to that one barrage. I agree, and definitely the counter barrage, I would say, from the Calliope, that came at a great time. It forced the retreat of all of uh, Blitz's infantry, so that definitely... Definitely swung the favor in his direction, and you see he's now coming in for the assault, chasing off those stormtroopers. I'm actually interested. I'm wondering why he's deciding to attack right now, because he doesn't have enough manpower for field repairs. So if he does run into something that he's not expecting, he could be in a lot of trouble. But I think he just wants to take out this m medic bunker. An interesting use of sandbags in the middle by Blitz. If I were him, I would have liked to have seen a bit of wire on the other sides just to keep the American player from using it against him. But big engagement going on on the right-hand side as well. Yeah, definitely sandbags can be a bit of a double-edged double -edged sword. And those engineers in the house, they're going to be doing some hefty damage 
You can see the reds. Look, it just... Oh, wait, no, that was the Sherman. But here comes the two Stugs, and I think that is going to force those uh, Calliope and Sherman backwards a bit. Yep. The actual, f actually, the first aftershock going off in the base, and Chains did, did have a few guys in there, but didn't do any damage. And these Stugs, yeah, they're definitely going to be able to push back the Calliope and the Sherman, but the Calliope probably has his barrage. Yep, does have his barrage up. <laughs> He's going to shoot it right. At, I don't know what he's shooting at because that was kind of a waste, but that could have done a lot of damage. It could have. It's, you know, I think it was trying to mimic the uh, the retail uh, patch one uh, super calliope damage, just destroying stugs left, right, and center. <laughs> and also, oh, that's what he was doing. Okay, I was wondering why chains was actually wasting or floating so much manpower but he does have two calliopes or the ability to call in two calliopes which is what he just did and he's got his second one on the field and yeah this stug's not going to stand a chance so i think the american player in a pretty good spot right now no. after yeah after that engagement no that barrage the second one from the second calliope not very effective i have to say it did did it take down the medit bunker? It did, yes. Didn't quite see. Yeah, so I guess you can kind of say that it was pretty good. But I would have done it more if there was more infantry around, I, I would say. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much a max range. He probably, the Calliope cooldown in Company of Heroes Online is so ridiculously small. I think it's something like a minute, which was the cooldown of the retail Calliope at like bet three. Which is, like, you yeah. can see one of the Calliope's shooting again already, so it's not really too big of a deal to... Man, that barrage actually did, did a lot of damage, but it's not too big of a deal to waste a barrage every now and then, because you're going to have another one up in less than a minute, probably. Yeah, and it's interesting to note now that uh, Blitz, he has got uh, the CPs for the heavy armor support, and I think he is going to be saving up for... Uh, maybe a Tiger in Ostwind if he's got it upgraded fully. He is floating quite a bit of fuel and manpower. And in the American player's base, Chains did get his first supplier to upgrade a while back around when those Stugs were attacking those Shermans. So he has been benefiting from reduced upkeep for maybe five or so minutes of this game. Yeah, and I know you love to get that first supplier <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> well, it's really the earlier the better. He did get it fairly late, but I mean, he did need to spend a lot of his resources on fighting units, and he did go for a fast tank depot, which is a fairly fuel-intensive build, 